Jesus. Yes. Thank you, sweet love of God. Larry. Oh, we give thanks to God today for this unspeakable gift, and that is salvation yes. by grace through faith that is in Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that there'll be a little something under the tree for you this year. Yes. I pray that you will come together with your family and honor the Savior. Oh, my dear friend, that you will come together and have a warm meal. But more than that, that God will love, warm your heart by the great love of Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, you know, in this country we celebrate Christmas, the day, my friend, we don't know. Oh, but my friend, that's not important the day that Christ was born but the, what is important, dear friend, Amen. is Christ born in you. That's is right. Christ born in you? Beautiful. Is your spirit born again? Is there life and hope in your spirit that is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ? And so we lift up our voice today Amen. to tell you with clarity and passion and conviction that Jesus is the reason for the season. Right. Oh yes, dear friend, that we lift up the name of Jesus Christ. The gospel story is this, dear friend. Yes. The Word of God was made flesh. Yes. The seed of the woman that was prophesied from the beginning, from the garden. Yes. The seed of the woman the devil, the tempter, that evil a spirit we call Satan bruised the heel of the seed of the woman in the cross. But the scripture says that the seed of the woman crossed the head of the serpent in that same cross right. that Jesus Christ breaks the curse and the power of sin in his cross, Beautiful. in his death. Yes. Oh, I thank God today for the redemption that is in Jesus Christ right. and in the shedding of his precious blood. Right. The scripture says that we are not redeemed with silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Men instinctively know there is power in the blood. You look around, dear friend, you go to the voodoo, to the witchcraft, uh, to the santeria, and they offer their chickens, and they shed their blood. To why? To conjure up spirits and demons and looking for power. But I want you to know the real power right. is in the blood of the Lamb of God. And that is Jesus Christ, right. His redemption, His mighty power to save and to set free. The scripture says that Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us as it is written curse right. is everyone that hangs upon a tree That's right. that Jesus Christ breaks the curse of Santeria right. that Jesus Christ breaks the curse of voodoo That's right. that Jesus Christ breaks the curse of the Ouija board the horror films where you watch them and fear comes into your home. The horror, the filth, the filth, the fear, the demons, those ghosts, my friend, are demons. But Jesus Christ breaks the curse right. of witchcraft. That's right. Jesus Christ breaks the curse of Santeria. Jesus Christ breaks the curse of drugs. That's right. And alcohol. That's right. Make no mistake about it, brother. Yes, my friend. When you smoke that meth, the devil creeps into your mind. Yes. He corrupts your character That's right. and kills the spirit of a man. That's right. This is why we preach the resurrection power yes. of Jesus Christ right. that men can be saved, yes. wonderfully saved, yes. gloriously saved, yes. and set free. Yes. We preach a new birth. The Spirit of the Lord spoke in Ezekiel and said, A new heart will I give you. 
a new spirit will I put within you, says the Lord. That heart that's hard and cold. He makes new and clean and righteous. That spirit that is in you that is dead in sin. Oh, he brings life, new life. The scripture says, reckon yourselves dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God by faith and trust in Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. Yes. But the gift of God, dear friend, That's right. the gift of God yes. is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Yes. And this is why we celebrate Christmas. This is why we take a day and set aside a gratitude and humility for the lowly Nazarene, the spotless Lamb of God who suffered and bled and died and gave his life as a sacrifice for sin. In Luke in chapter 2, verse 1, the scripture says that it came to pass. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. It's nothing new, dear friend. And this the taxing was first made when Cyrenus was governor of Syria and all went to be taxed, everyone, into his own city. Yes. And Joseph also went up from Galilee That's right. out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife being great with child and so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she be de should be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end. Right. Oh, dear friend, I pray that you would understand the simplicity of the gospel. Yes. I pray that you would understand this Christ, our Savior, the King of kings, and the Lord of of lords he was born my friend That's in a manger right. in a stable with the farm animals he was not my friend welcomed in the hotels no friend he did not come That's to right. be born in a palace but he came and was born dear friend and laid in a manger in swaddling clothes yes. oh think of it dear friend the loneliness of this Nazarene, yes. or oh, the humility of our Christ, this great King who is eternally identified with us in our weakness. He is eternally identified with us in our rejection. There was no room for him in the inn. There was no room for him, my friend. Oh, but this is the plan of God. Oh, that he would know the suffering of humanity. That he would know the weakness of humanity. That he would know the temptations of this world. Oh, that you would know the heart and the spirit of Christ to suffer. Yes. To walk with us in our trials and our, our tribulations and our trouble. Yes. The scripture says that Jesus Christ is a very present help in a time of trouble. Oh, that you would know this Christ. Oh, dear friend, when he came into Jerusalem, he came meek and lowly and riding upon the foal, the colt of an ass. He could have come, my friend, with great armies. He could have come, my friend, on a great white charger. But no, dear friend, he That's came right. meek and lowly riding on the foal, the colt That's of an right. ass. And this is our Christ, yes. the lowly Nazarene. He knows the suffering of men. He knows, dear friend, the trials, the tribulation. He knows, dear friend, what it means to be despised and rejected of men. The scripture says he is a man of sorrows, Beautiful. despised yes. and rejected of men. Oh, but you know this, my friend, that in his humility Glory to and me. in his death, 
that the almighty God, my friend, raised him up to Glory. see at the very right hand of the Father Glory. that he ever lives to make intercession for you. That's right. That Jesus Christ still reaches down from heaven, sir. Right. That Jesus Christ rolls away the burden and the guilt of sin. Yes. That Jesus Christ breaks the curse and the power of sin. That's the right. curse of drugs is broken in Jesus Christ, sir. Yes. That if a man will but humble himself and pray and call upon Jesus Christ, the scripture says that whosoever, that's you, dear sister, dear father, you're troubled for your children. Amen. Dear mother, you don't know where your son is tonight, but the scripture says, whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, that fathers would pray. Oh, that mothers would cry out to God with tears for the life of their children. I know and I understand, dear friend, the brokenness in our families, Glory. the heartache in our homes. And I'm here to preach today.